I was driving in from Orange County when I discovered there were, you know, lots of fun thrift stores along the way. So I'm going into a unique Goodwill store called Rare, and I'll try to show you what it looks like inside. So guys, one of the really unique things about this trip is that I got to spend some time with my cousin who works in the film industry, and she gave me some amazing tours of prop houses. We started at the Omega, which is the largest, and it had the most amazing stuff, just furniture, all different types of period, time periods. We had like 1950s, 70s, uh, there was mid-century modern, Gorgeous stuff. Lots of fun to look around. They had a huge selection of religious art and props. If you can imagine all the movies you've ever seen that featured these types of decor. Well, here they are. These angels were gorgeous to me. Their faces were painted so intricately. But here it is, my arrival at the Goodwill outlet on San Fernando. Apparently this is the prime location to go to in the Los Angeles area, and it was quite busy.
I certainly did a lot of thrifting on this trip, but ultimately the most fun I had was with my cousin. So we did all kinds of fun adventures together. It was great to see her. She makes LA a fun and exciting place for me to visit and I can't wait to go back. So she helped me uh, come up with my finalization of this logo t-shirt that I had made while I was there and I'll have those up on the shop. So I saved my thrift haul for the end of the video. I'm gonna try to go through it quickly. I know some of these can get a little long. Um, I'll start with something kind of fun. So I was at uh, a Goodwill outlet location when I found one of these sandals and I was digging through shoes that had just come out, holding on to my one shoe and the lady across the way said, I think I have the other sandal. And I'm like, oh cool, well, you know, let's flip a coin for it. So we did a heads or tails and I won. So these are a beautiful pair of leather gladiator style sandals by Madewell. And I think they're like a size seven and a half, super cute. So that was a Ben's find. So are these, which I think are just so pretty. So these are anthropology. A crushed velvet with embroidery detail. Almost like a, I don't know what you call these. They are kind of cropped and they have a raw hem, but I thought they were so pretty. I got this at the St. Vincent de Paul. This is L'Agence. It's sort of a metallic knit top with this really pretty neckline. So it was on sale. It was a blue tag, so it was like 25% off. So that was good. This was another Ben's find. So these are some Madewell denim shorts. They're a size 31, which are great. I would love to say I could get 20 for these. It's probably going to be around 15 instead. Um, frame denim doesn't sell like it used to for me. But I did find, I thought, were some pretty cute and fun leopard print frame denim. They're really small, though. They're a size 23. So I don't know anybody who wears a size 23. I may have those for a while. Uh, those little tiny sizes are kind of hard to sell. This is a brand that um, St. Geraldine, I have sold a jacket by St. Geraldine before. And this is a little chambray type wide leg jumpsuit. It's a women's large. It still has the tags on it. I believe it sold for 120 brand new. So, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to list it for yet, but I really do like finding new with tags things, especially if it's a strong brand. This, um, I looked up comps for this brand and actually they were pretty decent, but this is my first time ever trying. So this is Emily and Finn. This is also a brand new with tags dress, which probably retailed in the $100, $110 range. Really pretty fun fabric. Very bright colorful it definitely screams summer so i'm hoping i can sell that fairly quickly this brand isn't really moving for me much either sundry but when i find sundry at the bins i have a hard time passing it up because i know the retail price on this type of sweatpant is kind of high these are in excellent shape and they're like a jogger style so i feel like there's still an audience out there that likes the brand and doesn't want to pay full price this is a fun tie-dye, We The Free shirt. So it's long sleeve, really lightweight cotton, perfect for spring and summer. Um, Free People doesn't sell for a ton. I don't always pick it up. I only pick it up if it's something I really like or if it's a more substantial piece like a dress or a jacket. So the little t-shirts like this, you know, 10 to $12 maybe the most that I can get for it. But here's the thing, for spring and summer, this is going to be my first spring and summer period of time where I'm really investing more reselling hours. And I know that for me, based on past experience, this time of year is volume. The clothes in general that I find to resell this time of year are just less expensive. Therefore, the profit margins are sometimes smaller. So you know, a pair of Nike athletic shorts that I find at the bins that I pay $1.25 for. I'm really, really lucky if I can sell those for 10 or 12 or 14, depending on the color and the quality. So it's just not a lot of high-end stuff 
in my opinion, going out in the summer, not unless you are in an area where you can really source luxury brands. And I haven't found that source here yet. <laughs> um, this is Out From Under. These are just really cute, fun, wide leg, pink, bubblegum pink, terry cloth pants. I thought these were super cute. So I want to say Out From Under is American Outfitters. I could be wrong, but I feel like I have seen that pop up with some research. So here are some cute button fly Everlane jeans. So again, like some of the denim doesn't command as much as some of their, like the barrel style pants or the legendary or there's there's some brands some names within the company that do really well so i'm not sure about this one yet um i'm just going to give denim a try because i don't ever find everlane denim back home so when i was in la i did find everlane so i picked it up and i don't always pick up madewell either but i liked the darker denim here these are called the skinny skinny but to me, they don't look super skinny, and they're just kind of tapered at the bottom. They were in really good shape. They were a Ben's find. So I'm gonna try to give Madewell jeans a try again. It's kind of a slower moving brand than it used to be for me. These are cool. So this is a women's roll-up style hiking pant. It's got little snaps there so you can roll them up when you're going hiking and you want to go in the stream or something and you don't want to get your pants wet. So these are in brand new condition. They really are. So really pretty. These were on the 25% off sale. So I got them for a pretty decent price. I actually brought two full suitcases, large suitcases back from my trip to Los Angeles. I only have the items from one of those suitcases right now. The other one was misdirected. It ended up flying somewhere else. So it just made it back to our airport and I'm gonna be picking it up tomorrow. So you're only getting half the picture here. The next item are some great Athleta jogger pants. These are the Headlands Hybrid Trek jogger. I've sold these before. I've had them new with tags before. They do have quite a good following. They're made really well. so. Um, these were a Ben's find, so that was kind of exciting. So was this men's Lululemon shirt. So this is that metal vent tech workout shirt that men really like. This is a size extra large. Nothing wrong with it. Found it at the Ben's. It was a nice find. This I actually bought at a thrift store. So early in this video, I showed you Rare, which is sort of like the higher end Goodwill store that they're sort of kind of testing maybe. Um, this was Patagonia Capilene, so it's a 2XL men's. Now, I paid up for this because I like Patagonia <laughs> and because it was in such stellar condition. So I'm not really sure what I can sell it for yet. I do normally sell those Capilene shirts for men in the $30 range, so that would be nice if I could do that. I was surprised at how much cool I found. So those pants I already showed you. And this jacket, so it's not a full zip, but it's really nice, it's hooded. This is a cool project jacket. So I have seen some of these sell in the $50 range, and that would be awesome. I found this at the bins, so that was a really good score. I thought, anyway. I did buy these at a Goodwill retail. These are some Lulu shorts. They're so cute, they have like the scalloped edge detail that's really pretty they're size six they look amazing but they don't look like anyone wore them really good shape so would love to get like 40 dollars for them we'll see this was a thrift store find this is sundance lovely lace button front can you just see this layered in the summer with a tank top under it so pretty so feminine so i love sundance because they make things that are usually really detailed. They're embroidered, they're lace, they're trimmed, they're bohemian style. I mean, you can see this with some jeans and cowboy boots. At least that's what I see. Ah, another pair of Everlane jeans. These are not skinny. These are just the size 10 ankle, high waist, high rise it says, high rise ankle. So really nice still, very nice shape. 
We'll see what I can get these for. This was a good find, I thought. So this takes me back to 1999. I love the Powerpuff Girls and I found this 1999 vintage Powerpuff Girl t-shirt by Cartoon Network. And it doesn't have any stains or holes. You know, it's it's been worn, but I still think that those dedicated vintage loving people will like it. So I have seen some of these vintage Powerpuff Girl baby doll style t-shirts sell upwards of $150. So when I checked comps on it, I was happy with the numbers and I was glad that I picked it up. This was also a Ben's find in LA. Cute Stanford University. So I don't pass up on the Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, some of the, like the Ivy League colleges. I tend to pick those things up, the sweatshirts, the t-shirts. There are a dedicated following of people who like those academic type. This was made by Champion, size medium, nice heather gray. So those were selling pretty well, 30 to $40 range on eBay. Anytime I find Beyond Yoga, I am excited. So I was a little bummed out these were extra small, but again, they're a real pretty design. They have this like slant stripe. There's a little sheer panel. These are so soft. So if I haven't explained it before, and you may already know this, you cannot use Beyond Yoga's stock photos, maybe even their descriptive terminology like from their website. When you list on eBay, it will get your listing removed. So just know that. <laughs> Take your own pictures. Um, this is an Athleta, little athletic sports bra top, kind of a tie-dye motif I thought was cute. These don't command a lot of money, but again, the cost for me is so low and I'm trying to get as much active wear as I can right now for the upcoming spring, summer. I know people are gonna be more active. They're gonna be out walking and jogging and possibly exercising more, getting ready to wear a bathing suit. <laughs> this is my last little free people item. Just fell in love with this colorway. I love this bright orchid pink. So cute, so soft. It's a crop shirt, it's long sleeve, but you could totally still rock this in the spring. So very cute. Again, probably wouldn't buy that at the retail thrift for the retail price, but at the Goodwill bins, when there's no flaws with it, at no problem. The last item I'm gonna show you is a big chunky sweater. I think this is the only chunky sweater I bought while I was there. This is a new to me brand, this is Opalus global citizen. So I did look this brand up and it's kind of a an upper tier in my opinion brand and this is a merino wool blend chunky cardigan. So it's worth a try for me. I love sweaters so I'm going to list it out there and give it a try. It's kind of got an interesting little detail. It's a little red cross that's sewn in. But it's, you know, it's oversized, it's really chunky, but it's super soft, so I know somebody's gonna love it. Oh, I forgot this. Okay, this is the last free people. So this is a We the Free. Very cute, very lightweight, fun striped shirt with like this raw detail here at the neckline. So I did see, I think I found, you know, some decent free people items while I was gone. I picked up ones that I thought were in good shape to kind of help me stock my store for spring and summer. So if you're interested in seeing more of the LA Thrift Haul, I will do a part two, but this is all that I can squeeze in for today. So I appreciate you joining me, watching my footage from the trip. I had a great time. I was there for five days and you know, I do want to go back. I think the potential for thrifting there is really great. The brands you know, a lot more variety than I'm used to finding back home. So um, I had a good time and yeah, thanks again for watching. If you haven't, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.